Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And at the end of the video, if it's helpful, um, please like it and share it with someone that you think it may help out because um, I look for this information on the YouTube and I didn't see any videos uh, just posted at the time that I was working on this problem. So um, I'm having to figure it out myself. So we're going to solve a bump steer issue without spending any money. And when I mean spending any money, you can buy like uh, bump steer correction, um, you know, kits or whatever. We're not going to do that because uh, I think I have it figured out because it's a Flaming River rack and pinion kit. That's, um, well, let me tell you that the car has air ride on it. So when it goes up and down, the front wheels are doing this number, right? So we don't want that. With the factory, uh, it's a 64 Malibu, give you that information. But with the factory gearbox and components on it, it wasn't doing that at all. I mean, it was perfect almost, but went to the Flaming River kit, and so it's doing that. Now, I'm not downing Flaming River because it's a good kit with good components, but I just don't want to spend any more money to correct the problem, you know, or not really. It, it'll cover the problem up. The problem will still be there, but... You know, you just kind of, you know, adding components to kind of make a correction for, you know, for better words. But so we're going to, you know, solve it without spending any money by moving the actual where the, um, the inner tie rod ends connect to the uh, Flaming River rack and pin. You're going to move those up. And uh, being that it wasn't doing it with the factory, you know, components on it. I think I can solve the problem just by correcting the uh, geometry. And so we're going to show you. In case you don't know, bump steer is, you know, uh, when, you know, your suspension articulates and the actual uh, tie rod in moves also. But over here, where on the inner tie rod is connected, is maybe at an angle or whatever. So when it does move up, you can see how it can move you know your 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 actual front wheel without you moving the steering wheel that's uh that's bump steer so uh you can buy kits to correct it or whatever but uh we're gonna try to solve it without spending any money at all so let's go out to the shop and see if we can get this problem solved now we're outside um in the shop and we'll see exactly what this suspension is doing i'm gonna air it up and you'll see the tires the wheels go out They'll tow out. And when I take the air off, they're going to tow in. And uh, it's just going to keep doing that. And that's caused by the tie rod ends. You can see once they're level or almost more level to the ground, that it pushes the tire or the wheel out. So and you see when they go down, the tie rod end, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's, it has a bad angle. It doesn't have the right angle. So let's work on uh, solving that problem. You can see in this photo where the uh, tie rods are connected. Okay, so here's the inner tie rod end. Uh, that's what I was referring to. And this is the outer. That angle here, I'm not really worried about that angle uh, as it is in relation to the control arm. That's not a big factor. But what we need to do is correct the angle of this, the, um, the actual um, tie rod in. So we need to bring that up level. Uh, they say get it level with the actual ground, you know, but I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna bring it up as much as I can with the um, the right height that I'm that I'm you know looking at, you can see I'm kind of trying to show you the actual angle with this uh, with this broom handle. This is what I'm gonna try to correct that angle, and that's the pivot point of the control arm. So I have it marked, and I'm gonna move that over to line up with the uh, pivot point of the control arm uh, when I do cut them off and move them to the top. You know so. Uh, we're just trying to move them up. These photos coming up, they show the relation of the front wheel uh, to the rear wheel. 
you can see how they're towed out when the suspension is all the way up. That's what we're going to work on correcting. That's a problem that we have to correct today. Now that all the work is done and I've made my corrections and uh, tack welds them back on, let's articulate the suspension um, and see what it's going to do. You see, it's not nearly as bad. Actually, it's almost 100% corrected. It's 100% it's better almost, but it's, you know, nothing's perfect. So we're still getting the, um, the actual camber issue, which you're going to get when you articulate a control arm suspension. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with that. So it did correct the actual toe in, toe out, bump steer issue without spending any money. And, you know, so without spending any money, um, you can't really, you know, go wrong with that. And uh, you can see where I moved the actual inner tie rod in mounting uh, tabs. I moved them up and just tacked them in. Um, and I moved them also outward to kind of get um, the actual um, radius point, even with the control arm um, inner uh, connection, the lower control arm radius point. Uh, they're, they're level. They're not really level, but um, my ride height is going to be a little bit higher than what you see, so they will be level with my ride height, and that's where I'll, I'll align everything with the, um, you know, when I go uh, put everything back permanently. But I just have them tacked in um, just to see, you know, if it's going to interfere with anything um, until I do my final mock-up, then I'll weld everything in permanently. So we're coming to the end of this video. I hope you like this video. Share it with anyone you think will help. And please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching this video.